Hello friends, myself Vipul Patel. In this session, we are going to perform an experiment that is induction motor with constant power load in PSIM. So, this is the diagram in which I am telling that this component, this component are how connected. So, first, this is a ground. This ground component you can take from this element source and from this ground okay and whenever I take a cursor at this component you can see the left side below means here at the left left side below you can see the name of that component right here I take the cursor at three phase sinusoidal voltage source and you can see at the down three phase sinusoidal voltage source it is indicated so uh, this three phase sinusoidal voltage source you can take from this element power sorry element source voltage source three phase sign you can take this voltage source from here now the next is three phase register branch you can see the name at below three phase register branch you can take this element from element power rlc branch and here this r3 this r3 is nothing but three phase register branch you can take this register from here and then this is a squirrel cage induction machine you can take this element from element power motor dry module and this is a squirrel cage in the induction machine you can take this from here and the next is speed sensor this is a speed sensor you can take this element from element power mechanical load and sensor and at the second last th this is a speed sensor you can take this element from here and next the torque sensor you can also take this torque sensor from the same location at motor dry module sorry at mechanical load and sensors and this is last one is torque sensor now the last thing is cons constant power mechanical load our experiment it's about induction motor with, with constant power load. So we take the load that is a constant power mechanical load. So this element you can take from element power mechanical load and here you can take any load but in this experiment we take the mechanical load of constant power. This is third one okay all the component you can take from this element section now the all the connections here i made and the values are the source three phase sine wave that is voltage is 220 volt and frequency is 60 hertz this is our i think by by default it is set you can change it and the resistance that is 0 0.001 ohm i have set here and this induction machines parameter are the value is shown in like this now this is a voltage probe you can take this probe from this below here this is a voltage probe There is no any parameter set to this these two sensors speed sensor and torque sensor uh, for constant power mechanical load we have to set here maximum torque we have i have take this as a 30 and the base speed that is in rpm i have set here 200 okay now let's run this experiment at here 
from you can run this experiment and also from this simulate and run simulation this is all output i have already taken but again simulate run this is three phase current waveform it is shown as this output and also we have to add the n mac means a speed of mechanical load and also the torque okay so uh, this is a three graph that we have to need at the output this is the input current three phase input current this is the mechanical load speed you can see this speed is linearly increased from zero to this value this value is in rpm and this is the torque value this is torque value is 30 and it is constant up to the speed of 200 rpm and then after that after the 200 rpm the torque will be reduced why because we have set here the maximum torque is 30 and base speed is 200 rpm that's why our output has this type of reduction in torque this is all about induction motor with constant power load thank you for watching this video